relationship. However, I'm here to admit that 75, 71 years of togetherness, that's nine years between the seventh grade and when we got married and 62 years after, <laughs> were quite totally, I never feared to jan out. <laughs> <laughs> but don't worry about it, the mystery Pepper, very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> we met in the summer of 1947 on my first day in the seventh grade. I looked across the room and there I spotted little Janet Romine. She was the cutest little gal I'd ever seen. So I cozied over and I offered her a stick of gum. <laughs> I was immediately smitten, and I believe Jan must have been too. Without a doubt, Jan was the sweetest and cutest gal in the whole school. How lucky could I be? Neither one of us could have known at that moment that the gum moment was the start of a 71-year relationship. 71 years is 25,000 days. <laughs> and each of those 25,000 days was an ongoing blessing until Jan passed right before Christmas, 2017. We are still in love. Over the years, we had a loving and amazing daughter. And that led to a mighty fine son-in-law and four good-looking. <laughs> good Lord, everyone's crying. During our time together, Jan and I strive to be good role models, and I think we did. And now, based on 25,000 days of togetherness, I feel qualified to offer a couple of casual suggestions. <laughs> in the future, there will be bumps in the road, guaranteed. <laughs> there will be times when you'll be mad as hell at each other. And that's okay. Plan for it. Right now. <laughs> tells me that you should still be friends while you're still friends. Work out a get over it strategy. Put <laughs> <laughs> it down and place it in a prominent place. And when the bump comes, pull out your strategy and talk to each other and game over. <laughs> Another one, number two, brag on each other. Find something new and great about each other every day. The words, I love you, should be frequently used. Write out your goals. This is number three. Write out your goals and <laughs> for your life together and live your life on purpose. And finally, work hard to be role models for your children, your friends, your buddies. In my apartment, I have a big word picture over my television. The words on it are, I'll read this twice. Life is not measured by the number of breaths that you take, but by the moments that take your breath away. Let me read that again. Life is not measured by the breaths that you take, by the moments that take your breath away. Brittany and Dylan, I know that you guys will have many moments 
in your life. And I look forward to sharing them, a lot of them with you. I sincerely hope both of you have a lifetime of love and happiness. Thank you. Beautiful.